today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how to get this cute flirty Valentine's Day look. Okay, so I'm going to start out by applying a primer. I'm using Baby Skin by Maybelline. I'm going to be using this Eye Duty Triple Remedy from First Aid Beauty. What I like about this is that it just gives a little bit extra moisture under my eyelids because my concealer does tend to crease. Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking this Lorac Queen eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using the lightest shade in the palette and put it all over my eyelids from the lid to my brow bone. And then after you feel like you've covered your eyelid enough to your preference, you're going to go ahead and use the second shade in the palette, which is going to be the pink sparkly shade. And then with that, I'm just going to be taking a flat eyeshadow brush and packing it on my eyelid. Another thing that I like to do when I am using more shimmery shades, because I do find that these have a little bit of fallout, I do dip my brush in some water to get the most pigment out of the eyeshadow. Now, after you feel like you've completed that to your liking, you can either stop there and just apply mascara, or you can go ahead and add a crease shade. I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette, and taking a crease shade out of here, I'm going to be using the color Tease. When you're doing this, you need to be a little bit patient because you want to start out lighter and then work your way to darker. So you just want to gradually add color every time. And then with any of these looks, you can either stop there or make them darker, whatever you like to do. You don't even have to use the same colors. This is just what I would do. And I'm starting from the outer part of my eye and bringing it in all the way to the inside, just buffing it out into the crease. And then you can use this as a transition shade or if you're gonna stop there, once again, you can just stop there. Now I'm going to go back in with the first palette that I used in the second color and just apply that from the inner corner to my eye a little bit farther towards the middle just because you do lose a little bit of pigment when you are adding that crease shade. Now I'm going to be taking the third darkest shade in the Lorac palette and using it very lightly. It is a very dark color, but I don't want this to be too dramatic because I'm going for more of a flirty look. going to be moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And also I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade highlighter I believe is what it is. Anywhere that I'm not putting the concealer is where I'm going to be putting my foundation because I don't like it to look cakey so I do not overlap. I'm going to be moving on to powder just to set that foundation and concealer. I'm going to be using the Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder by Rimmel London. So now I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm just going to be using a brow gel to hold them in place and give them a little tint, but I am using the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Gel. 
And this is just gonna hold my brows in place and give it a little bit more color. Just gonna brush out whatever foundation or powder I've got onto them. We're almost done. So now, since it is a Valentine's Day look, I am gonna make the eye a little bit more dramatic by making a cat eye. I'm going to be using this Pixie Lash Line Ink. It has a very fine tip, like a marker, so you can work with it and make your line really small, and then you're gonna build it up again to your preference. Now I'm gonna be moving on to mascara. I'm going to be using a combination of three. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, and Benefits, they're real. First, I'm gonna start out by using the Makeup Forever Mascara. I'm going to be using their reel. Now I'm moving on to the last coat, which I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Okay, and now I'm going to be applying blush. I'm going to be using Benefits Bella Bamba. What I like about this is that it is a shimmery blush and it's very pink, but again, like anything else, you can use a little bit of it or you can build it up. I'm just gonna be using a little bit of it just to give my cheeks a nice pink color. And now lastly, I'm gonna be doing my lips. I'm going to be using two colors, a lipstick and a gloss. I'm going to be using Spirit by MAC and I'm gonna be using NYX Butter Gloss in the Shady Claire. And that's gonna be all for this look. With any of these colors, you can add more or less. You can use a different eye color, a different lip color, but this is just what I would use if I was going out to dinner. A little soft, cute, flirty look for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching.